I'm Harshni Appa. I'm a third year PhD candidate in the Department of Molecular Integrative Physiology here at University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. I'm in Dr. Nelson's lab. As a lab, we are focused on breast cancer and in particularly metastatic breast cancer. And my project in particularly focused on targeting the immune cells within the tumor and developing a drug to re-educate those immune cells into fight against cancer cells. And thereby our overall goal is to develop a therapy to treat patients and improve their overall life. I have collaborators within MCB, outside MCB in chemistry department, in animal sciences, in kinesiology, and they enrich my project too. And on the other hand, I help. What we are trying to address is the greatest challenges to human health at this time. So it is important that we come together as a team. We are stronger as a team than alone, and then combat those problems. We all know someone who had breast cancer at some point in their life. Either friends, cousins, even immediate family, we know someone, it's that common. At the moment, breast cancer is a leading cause of death to women across the world. And then what we are trying to do is to develop new therapies to treat the disease and hopefully one day it will make it to the clinic. And that's kind of the driving force that whatever I'm doing today may impact patients somewhere down the line and that's what wakes me up every morning to come to work and that hope to help people. So as an international student, I'm originally from Sri Lanka. It's a small island in the Indian Ocean. Very small, but very beautiful. So coming from a small country and traveling across the world and coming here and seeing that all the problems in, com in terms of health that we are trying to address, trying to address diseases, it's, it's a problem not just to the US, but to the world. So if our findings get translated into the clinic one day, it's gonna have an impact for the millions of people at the time. I, was, I went to school in Sri Lanka and then when I was around 17, 18, I went to England to do my undergraduate degree. There were faculty that inspired me to con uh, continue a career in research. And then I came to the US and I came to Illinois, to Un Eastern Illinois University to do masters. And that's where I did hands-on research and where I have kind of unleashed the scientist in me. And then I started applying for PhD programs and then I came here. Just after I joined in my second semester of MCB, I got accepted NIH Chemical Biology Interface Training Program, and that played a great role in uh, building me and making me a better student, a better scientist. I think in the University of Illinois itself is culturally diverse, and we have a lot of international students from across the world. It's, a, it's to a point that we know someone from every single country. It's an MCB program itself is very diverse. We very welcome in for international students, and also there are people to help us. And especially that transition may not be the easiest thing to do. And especially if you're first time coming abroad and staying away from the family, you miss your family and getting to know new people, and also starting a like starting a PhD. It's also very hard. It can be hard in the beginning. Before I had this perception of okay, a PhD is only about work, but I have realized it's not just work. It's very important to have a balance between work and life. And there are several things that I do to unwind myself. Um, I like to do a lot of yoga. I like to um, do meditation and yoga helps me to keep mentally strong. And I like to cook for people in the lab. I met some of greatest friends for my life um, in the lab, in the department. I think as a team in the lab environment too, we are, we are just a group of friends.